So Labyrinth is reset and we get to do it all over again. So here's a quick video that displays 31 different 52 morale teams and I'm going to show you how to use that morale uh, to get the maximum amount of exploration out of each entry token. Um, there are other teams but I picked these 31 because they all include a soul weaver. Now if you want to build these teams yourself there's a link in the description to the builder. You just click the plus, you add the units to your list, you click the little campfire icon, and boom, there's your morale. Make sure you use that middle paper icon to lock one of the soul weavers. This is the team that I decided to use because I think they're relatively common units for people to have. I know Apocalypse Ravi's an ML5, but with the selector that's out, most everyone's probably going to have her if they don't already. Champion Zerato, he self-heals, and he does good damage, so he is a really good shoe-in for this team. I um, went ahead and stuck Vivian on the team because she can carry Bloody Rose. Now, Bloody Rose only procs on single target attacks, but she can do an S1, drop a single target attack, and now suddenly everybody that attacks can self-heal. This, combined with Sonya as a healer, gives you a tremendous amount of healing power, so even if you are relatively weak or early in this game, this team should carry you through the higher levels, probably all the way up to Nixseed 3, maybe even Nixseed 4. I put Celestine on her just to give a little extra healing when she S1s, because her S2 and S3 are both healing skills. That way every attack she does heals. Now I'm not going to get too much into pathing, because you can just Google the name of the labyrinth, the level, and the word map, and there will be dozens of maps with arrows and pathing, so you can figure out what's the optimal way to go through this. What I am going to go into is things you should do. First and foremost, wait until you get below two, negative 2 morale before you camp. Morale does cap, and if you camp early, you can waste morale. Now, because we get 52 morale when we camp, this will push us all the way back up to the maximum bonus level. Whether I'm portrayed in human myth as a benevolent goddess or a cruel tyrant, I find it ridiculous that mortals think themselves qualified to judge me at all. For years now, the situation in Sidonia has failed to improve. I don't see much chance of that changing anytime soon, either. As to what camping option to take, you can look at the images at the beginning of the video, or you can check the morale calculator that's linked in the description. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed back up. The other important thing is don't take any side trips. Follow the arrows on the maps and get as far as you can get until you run out of morale. Um, you can push past minus 30, because this isn't raid, this is labyrinth. So you're all the way good up to negative 49. Once you hit negative 50 like we just did, you can no longer do any fights. But that doesn't mean we're done. Now we go back and we collect the chests. We check out these little side passages that we haven't explored yet. As long as we don't do a fight, we're okay. So go very carefully. Do this on manual. When you exit a corner, go back into the corner and look at the map again. If you don't see cross swords, you're safe to proceed. If you do see cross swords, don't go any further. You'll trigger the fight. So walk very carefully to make sure you don't accidentally step on cross swords. Now this corner here, it might have a fight in it, but that's okay. It did have a fight in it, so we're going to die, but that's not a big deal because every time you go into the labyrinth, you get one free raise. You can see in the corner, free sky stones to retry, and that retries us outside of the corner, but if you look at the map, the corner's shaded blue. It's counted as explored, so we don't have to go to that corner ever again, so the next time we don't have to do that fight, and the map's considered explored. So we'll continue to move around. I'm going to go to the other side of that corner and see if we can approach it from the left. Okay, we can't. There is a fight there, but I'm going to scooch up real close to that fight. And the reason uh, is just to show you that you can get right up against it and trigger the space to turn blue and explored without actually doing the fight. Now, if we were able to approach from the north, we could actually clear that hallway without doing a fight. So I always like to explore up against those cross swords. Let's see, there's none there. Let's see if we can get up. There's a cross sword there, so we'll highlight it blue. 
The south pack is locked, so we'll check north. It's got a cross sword, so we'll trigger it blue because who knows, maybe we'll be able to approach it from the other side next time and that's one less fight we have to do. So do one last look around and I can see there's really nowhere else to go. I can't go any further into this labyrinth without triggering a fight, so it's time to exit. And that's how you can maximize your 52 morale and get a tr as much exploring done as possible. We didn't even really need to use our healers, so feel free to take any other 52 morale team, but look at that, we've, we've got 45% explored on one entry. So using these high morale teams and using this exploration method will help you burn through the labyrinth relatively quickly and get the maximum efficiency out of your labyrinth token. Now there is a cheese that lets you explore everything with just one unit. It takes a while and I will get into that in the next video. It's only really viable in the top end of Nixseed and for the capital city as Macalus, the, the raid fight. One more time, you want to build your own team? Use the link in the description to go to the Cecilia Bots camp builder. Click plus, add the heroes you have. Click on the little paper icon, say, tell it to you, require at least one Soul Weaver. And then look at the campfire icon and you can build whatever teams, the best morale teams you can with the units you have. I hope this helps you complete your labyrinth. And if you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like and maybe a subscribe. Have a good one.